so this is the next problem on beam that is determine the support reaction of the beam loaded and supported as shown in the below figure so here it is a hinge support at the point a and at the point b it's a roller support okay and it has been loaded with two vertical loads that is one is 20 kilo newton and the other one is 10 kilo newton okay and there is one external moment that is 34 kilo newton meter okay for this type of loading we have to find the support reactions okay first we have to identify the type of loadings okay so here it is point load and that two both are perfectly vertical okay means summation of h becomes zero okay summation of h becomes zero and there exist uh, summation of h becomes zero that means there is no any horizontal reactions okay then next again i have to use the rest of the two equilibrium equations that is summation of v is equal to zero and summation of moment at any point is equal to zero okay so the free body diagram for this one is wherever the support reactions are there there and the, at the point where the forces are acting there i have to draw a dotted vertical line okay to draw the free body diagram so it is as shown below here there will be one reaction that is let us see it as a y okay so here actually it's a in support there exist two support reactions okay but there are since there are no any horizontal forces that's why i am neglecting the horizontal reaction at the point a okay the horizontal reaction comes comes into picture only when there are horizontal forces or else the inclined forces applied on the beam okay so here it is b y okay and say and draw the forces as it is so here it is 20 kilo newton and here there is one moment that is 34 kilo newton meter and here it is 10 kilo newton okay now i have to first i have to decide where to take the moment okay one of the equilibrium equation is summation of v is equal to zero then next is summation of m is equal to zero that is summation of moment at any point is equal to zero okay so first i have to decide where to take the moment okay so i have already decided to take the moment at point a means now i have to find the distance between this point a and uh, all the distance between the point a and all other the forces and the reactions okay so from here to here it is from here to here it is one meter okay and from here to here it is here it is 2.2 .2 meter from here to here it is it is 2 2.2 .2 plus 1.2 so it is 3.4 meter and from here to here it is 3.4 plus 1 it is 4.4 meter okay so these are the distances between the point a and the forces and the reactions then next i have to use these two equilibrium equation let us use the first one that is first one that is summation of v is equal to zero okay so this is a y and this is b y these are moving in the upward direction it is a y plus b y a y plus b y is equal to is equal to so this is moving the downward direction it is plus 20 plus 10 
see while calculating the summation of v and summation of h we should not consider the external moment which is applied to the beam so that's why i am because of that reason i am neglecting this 34 kilo newton meter okay it is summation of v means i have to consider only the forces which are acting along the vertical direction so those are it is ay and it is by and it is 20 kilo newton it is 10 kilo newton so i have considered only those forces okay so this becomes ay plus by is equal to 30 let us call this as equation number 1 then next equilibrium equation i have to use that is summation of moment at point a is equal to 0 okay means i have to take the moment at this point now so it becomes now it is now it is clockwise so it is 20 multiply with 1 now I, now while calculating the summa, summation of moment i have to consider this moment also okay it it's it is moving in a clockwise direction so it is plus 34 okay already it's a moment so there is no need to multiply with the perpendicular distance okay so it is plus 34 then next again plus now it is again clockwise so it is 10 10 has to be multiplied with the perpendicular distance that is 3.4 it is 3. Point, it is 3.4 from here to here then next now coming to this one now it is anti clockwise okay it, it tries to rotate the point a in a anti clockwise direction so it is minus by minus by multiply with from here to here it is 4.4 .4 is equal to 0 now let's solve this equation 2 let us call this as equation number 2 let's solve this equation number 2 in the calculator so it is 20 plus 34 plus 10 into 3.4 minus x into 4.4 .4 is equal to 0 solve this one solve this one so we get by as we get by as 20 kilo newton okay on substituting this in the equation number 1 in equation 1 we get that is ay plus 20 is equal to 30 so this implies ay is equal to 10 kilo newton in the upward action so this is the solution